former Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan, 57, took to Twitter today to slam Prince Harry, 38, over his latest claims. In a new, furious rant, the journalist questioned whether the Duke of Sussex has amnesia. In view of his 8.3 million followers, Piers wrote, Unbelievable! Harry now blaming the press, again, for accurately reporting, again, the reckless boast in his book that he killed 25 Taliban, a revelation that's been attacked by many former top British Army commanders. Pathetic buck passing, Piers added in what became another series of scathing tweets about the royal. Sick. Soon afterwards, the talk TV presenter penned, so, to recap. Meghan and Harry accused the royals of racism in their Oprah interview. Now he says that was a British press lie. Then he boasted in his book of killing 25 Taliban. Now he says that's also a British press lie. Is he dumb, deluded or suffering from amnesia? He also applauded an indie bookshop based in Swindon called Burt's Books for the unusual way they had displayed Prince Harry's new book. Brilliant! At Burt's Books, he wrote with two clapping emojis, as he shared a photograph of their front window. The picture showed copies of the Royals' new book cheekily interspersed with copies of Bella Mackey's bestseller, How to Kill Your Family. In his most recent post, Beers reacted to a series of tweets from ITV News Royal editor Chris Ship, Referencing Harry's latest interview on The Late Show with Stephen Goldbear, he wrote, The press took my words out of context says Prince Harry following his book in which he said he killed 25 Taliban in Afghanistan. It was dangerous spin he tells at Cole Bertlett show in US even though some military veterans also criticized him. Sharing a clip of Prince Harry on a late-night talk show, Chris went on to write, Harry told at Cole Bertlett show that the only reason for sharing the detail of what he did in Afghanistan, and how many Taliban he had killed, is to reduce the numbers of suicides of military veterans. The last few days had been hurtful he said, the journalist followed up, in reaction to this, Piers bent, he didn't use that excuse in the book. So he's now exploiting the suicides of military veterans to defend his Taliban kill boasting, which is contemptible. Express.co.uk have contacted Prince Harry's representatives for comment. During a sit-down interview with journalist Tom Bradby on Sunday, the Duke of Sussex defended the bold claims he made in his debut book. I love my father, I love my brother, I love my family, he said during the ITV program, entitled Harry, the interview. He went on to insist he had no intention of hurting or harming them, but with regards to the tabloid press, said that certain members have decided to get in bed with the devil to rehabilitate their own images. Stating that this was their choice he continued, but the moment that rehabilitation comes at the detriment to others, me, other members of my family, that's where I draw the line. <laughs>